I'm Jerry Gallagher, master leather craftsman and founder of Leather Surgeons. The customer reached out to us and I believe that she said that she was in a restaurant and the bag was burned by a candle. Chanel GSTs were a really popular handbag. Unfortunately, it's discontinued. They stopped making them now. I'm not sure we can get much for the bag in this condition, but I think that after I restore it and get it up to speed, it should be able to go for two or $3,000. We had a problem with the fading and the 24 karat gold hardware on the bag. You know, the white metal underneath or the nickel starts to show through. You need to take the stitches out carefully, one at a time. So the leather is on the dry side, it's fragile. Handbags are built around what we call stays. This is what happens when the stays break down. So you get a bag that looks sloppy. So what you do is you put this behind the different sections of the leather and you would line the front and the back. Now you would have a skeleton, something to hold the bag up. I would have preferred to be able to save the pocket but in this case, we really had to replace the pocket. It was burned all the way through. I have to get this side open to be able to stitch in the new pocket that I'm gonna make properly. The most challenging part of this job will be making sure that the quilting that I add to the new pocket matches the quilting seams in the bag itself. So as far as cleaning, it depends on what kind of leather you're cleaning. The blue is a waterborne leather soap. You could use that over the whole bag, anything to damage the bag at all. But the other two are solvents. So you don't want to use solvents on leather unless you absolutely have to for things that a waterborne product wouldn't remove, like dye transfer or ink. In taking the ink out, you're going to wind up also taking some of the color out. first thing we do is cut a pattern. So you find the right leather, the exact leather the bag was made out of, and you just replace the pieces that you can. We've seen, you know, angry boyfriends cut bags with razor blades. I mean, I mean, it's, there's things that happen all the time. stays in the bag and I have the bag structurally sound. A skill unto itself is restitching in the original stitch holes. You, you don't want to create new holes and leave vacant holes. So you take the pigments for the Chanel Beige Caviar. We use the white, we use the oxide, which is like a goldish yellowish color. We use like a medium brown. The syringes forces you to use just a little bit. to get started airbrushing the color. The idea is to use as little application as possible. So you could come back and do it over and over again and keep the bag looking good without having the texture suffer. You cut the leather twice as wide as you want the final product to be. You fold it to center and then you fold it one more time and then you stitch it.
Chanel has a very specific way of carrying. So they use interlaced leather chains. It's a beautiful thing. They've been doing this for years and years. I think that we have a circular economy. It gives somebody that otherwise wouldn't be able to afford to carry a bag if they were to have to buy it retail a chance to buy it in the secondary market and have us restore it and be able to carry it until they're ready to pass it on to somebody else. There's no reason why that bag can't last forever, really. There's definitely a sentimental attachment to handbags, especially ones that are passed on. They're boxes of history, really, the handbags. 